Hi. Today I want to talk to you about a man that inspired me. His name was uh, Stanislav Shugatsky. He's a Polish uh, art artist and genius that was born and lived, lived across uh, the 19th and 20th century. Once Shugatsky said, if you want to do anything new for this world, don't listen to anybody. And this made me think, made me think about uh, how we learn. I tried to apply this teaching from Shugatsky to how we learn. So, and how I learn, I looked at. So, we learn, we go through different phases. I see this uh, on, a, on, a, on a segment, on a line. So we start with zero, we know nothing where we're born. And then when we start looking at some subjects, the subject that we study, the subject we want to learn, then uh, quite quickly we get to a basic point of knowledge. Everybody can get to a basic point of knowledge on any subject. Then, if we really like this subject, we keep on researching. It might become our job, it might become our passion, and our learning uh, goes up goes up slowly, 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 as we gain knowledge and we became masters of our subject, we get to an advanced point. The advanced point is very important, is because uh, it's the point where we do understand the subject for the first time. We really do understand it. We're not finished yet, but we really do understand it. Then we continue going, if we really, really go, want to go deep into a subject, we continue going ahead, trying to learn more. And we go across this road, it's very hard, it can take years, it can take decades, it can take decades, at a certain point we get to a point, right? And there is this little gap that I signify here, in which the more you go ahead, the more it's difficult to learn a little bit more. For, to give you a comparison to, to make you understand what I'm trying to talk about, if you study physics and you know that when uh, an object approaches the speed of light, the last bit, it's so difficult to overcome that we decided that we cannot overcome speed of light. So we decided we cannot go faster than light. And that's the laws that uh, Einstein gave us. So in learning, we get to this little place and we could stay there forever. Most of us stay forever. I stay forever, maybe I will go out. Because what happens here? There is this wall, this wall that does not allow us to get out and learn more. This, I call it the wall of insanity. For us, the wall of insanity we can't even see it. We just know that's as much as we can learn. We cannot learn more about this. We can't. It's impossible. But then some of us, say artists, often, they manage to say, you know, I actually believe I can learn more than this. So they make the leap and they jump over the wall of insanity. What happens when they jump over the wall of insanity? They lost the fear of not being able to learn more and once they're over, they create their own language to describe their craft and their subject. So we have uh, geniuses that uh, invent new, mu new type of music, new type of art. They create a new language of that subject for themselves to experiment. Think about it. Think about the, the, the um, revolutionary uh, artists that we had in uh, literature in uh, art, figurative art, in uh, music, in poetry. There's always somebody that learns and teaches everybody else a new language. And he is here over the wall of insanity. But uh, you don't stay over the wall of insanity. What happens is the insanity wall sends you back straight at the beginning so that now you can describe to yourself and the others the basic and the advanced of your craft through your new language. So here happens so much creativity, so much creativity. These people describe something that before people had taught it could only be taught in certain words, with new words, giving new meanings, enriching the field, enriching the subject, enriching everybody else that can look at the subject and wants to study the subject. 
And then eventually what happens? They end up again in this little gap between the second level of knowledge and the wall of insanity is still there. But if you have gone over the wall of insanity once, you certainly believe you can go twice. So some of these people, including Stan Shokarsky, Shokarsky, went over the wall the second time. So what he did, he leaped over the wall the second time, and the second time what he learned was not only a new language for sculpture and paintings, that that was the first time he found. When at 14, he created his own alphabet and used his own alphabet for all his life. Later in life, when he was old, he learned a new language. And the way he describes it is the universal language that can describe all arts and everything in the world. So he, he codified something that he could describe life, he could describe everything. And Shokaski describes to us what he did and how he did this. If you want to know about, more about uh, Stanislav Shokarsky, and I really recommend it, at the moment there is a, a Netflix documentary called Struggle. Go watch it. Shokarsky is something else. Thank you very much.